Hello, this is Wario talking to you, and welcome to a new episode of Gaming Mysteries. This time we're gonna continue with The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and bring on a very popular creepypasta. Get ready for the story of Ben Drowned. So I'm just gonna read the story for you, and afterwards I'm gonna tell you what I think of this creepypasta. So let's bring it on. So the story begins with this guy who has an online name called Jadu Sebu, who has got an old Nintendo 64 from a friend of his, and he needed some Nintendo 64 games for it. So what he did was that he went outside and was a lot of garage sales around. But unfortunately, no matter where he went, nobody had a Nintendo 64 game on sale. But then, when he was about to give up and was about to go back home, he saw one last garage sale. This was a garage sale driven by an old man who had like who had one eye hooded. So you could only see in one eye. Jadus Able thought that this man was probably not having any Nintendo 64 games. He didn't even probably know what a Nintendo 64 was since it was so old. But he asked and to his surprise, the old man went inside and when he came back out, he was holding a Nintendo 64 game. And to Jadus Able's surprise, again, it was none other than The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So before Jadus Able left that garage sale, he could hear the old man say, Goodbye then, when he left. Or that's at least what he thought the old man said. It sounded like he said goodbye then. When Jadusable came home, he put it in the Majora's Mask into the Nintendo 64, and um, yeah, he began playing. So when he began, you know, Majora's Mask has two files you can have. There's maximum of two files. And you could see that the first file was already a file that was in use by a guy called. Ben. Now this is probably what the old man said, he probably said goodbye Ben. So he Jadusable presumed that Ben was probably the old man's grandson or at least the previous owner of the game. Anyway, Jadusable started on file 2 and he began playing. Now Jadusable had played Majora's Mask before and he knew pretty much how the game was played. Because, you know, but the thing was that Jadusable had never managed to finish the game when he was younger and had played the game. He, he, could, he never made it to the end of the game, so he never knew how the game was ending, so he thought that this was a golden opportunity to do it once and for all. Um, so he began the game, and the game surprisingly seemed to go pretty good. There was no glitches, no bugs, and everything ran normal. The only bug or only glitch was that the AI characters, you know, the characters in the game you can speak to, kept calling him Ben instead of the name that he had written. He probably knew or he probably he thought that this was just a glitch because the game was old and that the AI, AI characters just were calling him name of file 1. Anyways, he didn't see this as a big problem so he proceeded in the game and he really started to say, freak out or he got enough of this when he came to the first temple called the Woodfall Temple. Um, because the characters kept calling him Ben and he thought that this was really annoying. And so what he did was that he saved, he turned off the console and turned it back on, and he deleted the Ben save file. He thought that this would fix the problem, so he continued to play. But the thing was that the problem was not fixed. Instead of the AI character saying Ben, there was no name. The, the, where, you know, when the characters were saying the character's name, or the main character's name, you know, Link's name, he wouldn't say Ben, and he wouldn't say his name, you know, but it would just be an empty spot where the name was supposed to be. This was a annoying little bug, so the Deducible searched out of the console for the night, because he had also a lot of homework, and he decided not to play again before the next day. Then the next day, he put on the game again, and he continued to play. Now, as I told you, in Majora's Mask you have three days to like complete the game. If not, the moon will crash into Clock Town. You can't turn or teleport back in time though using the Song of Time. But he was gonna try to do a glitch, a famous glitch in Majora's Mask called the Fourth Day Glitch. That glitch um, 
well, it, it works like this. You go to an astronaut man, or like in, you know, with the guy with a guy with a telescope, they can look at the moon. And what you do is that you look into the telescope at the same time the counter, you know, the day counter hits zero. And when, when you do that, if you do it properly or successfully, then, you know, the day counter should disappear and you will get a fourth day. So you get an extra day to continue playing. That's a neat little stuff, neat, neat little glitch. However, when he did this, Jaducible did this, and when, at, right after he had done it, he was teleported into the final boss battle of the game against Skull Kid. And this was pretty weird, because he knew that this was not supposed to happen. And inside Skull Kid's area here, everything was empty, there was no music playing, and Skull Kid was not attacking, it was just floating in the air above him. And when, you know, Jaducible walked around the room, Skull Kid's head was just turning around and following him all the time. And that was pretty creepy, and Jaducible walked around that room for about one minute before a text box appeared saying, Do you want to teleport out of the room? And, or out of the temple. Now, the thing was that you would normally get an yes or no option, and he did that, but he was not able to press no, he was inaccessible. So he just had to press yes. And, yeah, he, he thought that this was pretty weird, so what he did was that he connected his Nintendo 64 to the PC, so he could record what was happening. And, and uh, yeah, he, after this he started to record, as I told you, and he put a, he made, you know, this is a creepypasta, it's not real, but he made a YouTube account and he posted the videos that he recorded. So now I'm going to show you what he recorded, what happened after what I just told you. So here you go.
Now, before I continue the story, I want to tell you that if you don't know what that statue was, that Link-looking statue, then that is the song you can play in Majora's Mask called Elegy of Emptiness. This song will allow you to create like a copy of yourself, a statue of yourself. And this Link statue plays such an important part in the background, Creepypasta. This statue of Link is like known as Ben himself. So before I continue the story I'm gonna just play the, the elegy of emptiness for you so you can hear what it sounds like. So here we go. So that's the Elegy of Emptiness. Now, this is something... I'm gonna continue with the story, alright? So this is something that Jadusable wrote. Last night, that Elegy of Emptiness statue, I had a dream about it. I dreamed that I was following me in my dream. I would turn around and that thing, that horrible lifeless statue would be staring with those empty eyes right at me, merely inches away. In my dream, I remember calling it Ben. And I never before had I had a dream I could remember so vividly. So the story continues the next day, and Jaducible decided to go to the old man's house to try to find an answer about this. Now when he came to the old man's house, however, he was nowhere to be found. Everything he could find was an empty driveway and a for sale sign. And the neighbor he had noticed this Jaducible that he was trying to knock on the old man's door and he asked uh, Jaducible if he was looking for somebody. Jaducible said that um, I'm looking for the old man and the neighbor told him that he was moving. Now before uh, Jaducible left, um, he asked the neighbor if he knew who Ben was. Then the neighbor's expression got sad and darkened and he seemed scared. He told Jaducible that eight years ago there was an accident just down the road. The accident was about a boy named Ben, and shortly after the parents had moved. But Jaducible could never find out what happened to this Ben guy and what really had happened. That's really all the information he could get from Ben. So he just went home. When he came home, something strange happened. The computer had somehow opened itself, and it, the computer had also opened a notepad. And on the notepad, it was written that Jaducible was supposed to go to cleverbot.com. If you don't know, Cleverbot is you know, a web page where you can talk to a robot or a bot that is very clever, that's very human like. So, Jaducible did that, what the notepad said, even though it was very disturbing. So he started to talk to the clever bot. At first, Jaducible was sure that he was talking to a hacker and not a bot. Because he was so clever, you know. But then, 
the clever bot you know the clever bot mentioned Majora's Mask and said that Jadusa will have to go and play Majora's Mask and that was pretty strange and just seconds after the clever bot said that he was Ben he revealed himself as being Ben he told Jadusa that he had gotten into his computer through Nintendo 64 that he had connected to the PC the, the, the night before and now he was just messing around with Jadusable. And Jadusable got freak, freaking scared. And he was about to ask a question there, but before he could do that, the browser closed himself. And he was not able to open up the web browser again. But so something led him to. Something in his mind led him to the Majora's Mask game again. He had to find answers. It was like, it was like a possession. He had to play Majora's Mask again. So he went over to the game and he started the game. And this is what he recorded.
Yeah. <laughs> 